So you want to main vi. Well, do you like fisting? Do you like punching? Do you like police brutality? Do you like breaking shit? And do you like the thick? Well then vi, the Piltover Enforcer, is for you. Yo, Bricky, where's my gank, dog? That com that comes later. Before I start this lore, I want to say. I fucking love this champion. Vi grew up as a criminal and a thief. She would steal and strip Hextech hardware and use it to make tools to use making her a very skilled mechanic. At 6 years old, a group of criminals saw promise in her and by 11 she was already completing an excessive amount of heists. However, on one job she had to make a decision, either flee the area with her group or rescue innocent mining workers from a tunnel. She chose to save the workers and found a big ass mining rig in the tunnel which she promptly ripped off its arms and used them to create her Hextech gauntlets. After that, she split ties with the group and began working as a solo criminal, but would only steal from other criminals. Eventually, the sheriff of Piltover, Caitlin, heard of her criminal fame, and instead of arresting her, she offered her a position on the police force. Vi accepted on the spot. She gets to beat the shit out of the criminals without needing to worry about the cops. That's a fucking deal. Now, Caitlin struggles to keep Vi in line, and Vi takes orders more like suggestions and sometimes brushes them off. But even with the duo and the difficulties, they are by far the most feared police force in all of Piltover. Caitlin thinks justice and law. Vi thinks, I'm sure I can solve this problem by punching harder. Every problem can be solved by fisting. In-game, Vi is an absolute blast to play. She can fulfill so many incredibly different roles extremely easily. You need a tank, Vi. You need damage, Vi. You need engage, Vi. You need to burst down squishies, Vi. You need to burst down tanks, Vi. Vi, Vi, Vi. You know what Vi, Vi, Vi means? That's 666. Want to know why? Because it's the number of the beast, and Vi is a fucking beast at so many things. Every problem can be solved with fisting. She is most primarily played as a jungler, but if you're a weird little piece of shit like me, you can also do Vi top lane. But as a jungler, she has everything you want. Good clear, max health damage, auto attack steroid, auto attack reset, a shield, like holy shit, she has so much. Not to mention, Vi's personality is awesome. She's a badass motherfucker who throws caution in the wind and just thinks to herself, how much more do I need to punch until this situation sorts itself out? There is a reason Vi gets so much popularity. It's because she's a blast to play, she has an awesome personality, and she's hot as fuck. Listen to me, okay? Listen to the knowledge Bricky is about to drop on you. If you find a grill, any grill, that has the body proportions, and I know they are unrealistic, but unrealistic does not mean impossible. If you find a grill with the correct proportions that Vi has, you wife them immediately. You slap a diamond ring on that finger, and you let her fist you all night long for the next 50 years. You won't regret it. But Bricky, what if I'm a guy and like guys? Well, it doesn't matter. Wife her. But Bricky, what if I'm a girl who likes guys? It doesn't matter. Wife her. Fucking wife her. A good law to live by in marriage is everything can be solved by fisting. So Vi's passive is, I forgot this exists, but it's actually really helpful. Damaging an enemy gives you a shield. The shield is 10% max health, lasts 3 seconds, cooldown is based on level, and here's the shield math. Everyone forgets this passive exists, but it's actually a really good passive. Just by doing damage, you get a 10% shield and building tanky makes the shield even better. It helps you stay safe in the jungle and helps you survive burst after going in. Everyone forgets about it, but it's absolutely amazing. Vi's Q is smashing into those DMs. You have ult? Ulti. No, I don't. Ulti but I, I, I have Q in 5 do seconds. It. 4, 3, <laughs> 2, 1... Fuck you, I'm a man! You are a woman. Oh, nice. Fucking, oh. Well, yeah. Q begins a channel. It slows you and you can't auto attack and increases the Q range and damage over time. Releasing the Q dashes in a direction and it stops the first champion hit. Knocks back the enemy and it punches like in a small AoE and, well, here's the fisting math. Vi's Q is a basic engage tool and also a nice bit of CC. There are a few uses for this skill. You can just tap Q really fast to go with a CC during a fight or you can hold it down to get that long range engage plus extra damage. It can also go over pretty much any wall if you hold it down all the way. Plus, watching Vi charge up her Q puts a nice little bit of fear in her enemies as they frantically try to sidestep it and fail. Vi's W is fuck tanks, fuck squishies, and fuck you. What a ding dingus. What a dingus. He's made a mistake. Whoa. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. You want blue, buddy? Three hit passive, oh boy. Basic attacks in Q apply a stack. At three stacks, you deal percentage max health damage. Reduces the enemy's armor by 20%. Gain bonus attack speed. No cooldown, bitches. And here's some cracking math. Pop, pop, crack. 
That is such a satisfying sound. Pop, pop, crack. That's the W. Pop, pop, crack. That final crack sound is when things become fun. Because when that final crack hits, the target has lost max health, has now had their armor reduced, and you now attack faster. Once Vi gets that off, it's probably a good idea to stop fighting her, because she's about to take you to Pound Town. Vi's E is an auto attack cancel generator. That, that Gragas is really bad. What? Fuck you, Karma! Yes! Stores two charges of the spell. Next basic attack gains range in a cone, deals bonus damage, resets the auto attack, and that's literally it. Now people forget about Vi's passive, but it's Vi's E that actually isn't that interesting. It's not a bad spell, it's your proc or passive more often, and it also resets your auto attack to give you your W proc much faster. One of the more fun things you can do is to kill a very low health enemy by smacking the minions and letting the cone kill them in the back. No you don't, Fizz. Okay, okay, maybe Fizz does. No, don't you dare- Ugh! Kill this, yeah! Yeah, with that E bump. Yeah. Oh no, we ain't stopping. Go, there's no, little... there's no stopping. There's no stopping. Okay, now we're, we're, now we're taking this all the way to the bank. No all the way to the bank. This. That happens rarely, but when it does, man, it is satisfying for you, not the enemy. They'll probably wish upon you cancer. Finally, Vi's ultimate is the downtown dunk. Oh, how dare him, dude! They had a two v one. See you, nerd. <laughs> Do state. It's a point and click single target spell. Vi dashes to the target chosen, knocks them up for 1.25 seconds, deals 75 damage to all targets on the way, immune to all CC during it, and here is some math that will assault you. Vi's ultimate is incredible. You want to talk about fun abilities, this is the one. You just choose a target and immediately say, fuck you, I'm gonna dunk you. And only death will stop this dunking. Literally, only death, or maybe Azonias or something, will stop you from dunking on this poor enemy champion. So skill max, you have two choices. If you want to rely on a kind of gank burst oriented playstyle, you go QWE. But I like to go WQE, because sometimes you miss that Q, so you lose out a bunch of damage, and plus your W scales really well with level, giving you more max health damage and more attack speed, helping you kill champions and clear jungle camps faster. But how do I play Vi? Off topic, but I think that the Vi haircut is like easily one of the sexiest haircuts out there. I think that haircut is just like one of the most attractive haircuts on the planet. If I ever see that haircut just face lights up like a fucking tomato. Only problem is I have never once seen it on a straight girl. <sighs> the elusive booty has evaded me once more. How do you play Vi? However the fuck you want to play Vi. Vi stands for violence, Vi stands for vicious, and Vi stands for viable. Viable in almost every situation. Now, am I pointing to Vi with a big Hextech gauntlet finger and saying that she's the best champion? No, of course not. But Vi is so goddamn versatile. She's a tank. She's a damage dealer. She is engaged. She is peel. She is armor debuffs. She is knockbacks. She is knock ups. She clears camps fast. She kills tanks fast. She obliterates squishies. Vi is everything you've ever wanted in a champion and a grill. You want someone to take charge of a relationship? You want someone to show you how to live life like a fucking maniac? Vi, it's all Vi. Will she do any of that for you? No, of course not. I I'm pretty sure after the amount of fanfiction, porn, and shipping, it's practically canon that Vi and Caitlyn are a thing, so your dreams are being crushed just like mine, but it doesn't mean you can't have fun playing Vi. There is too much to talk about with this champion. Let's start with their abilities. Her passive gives you a shield against burst. Her Q is a high damage knockback that also procs her W. Her W lets you just stomp on tanks and insta-kill squishies. Her E lets you auto attack reset to stomp even more on tanks and squishies. And her ultimate is the uber mega death dunk. That is the bane of any low mobility champion. Man, I could go on for an hour on her ultimate. As someone who has played a large amount of champions like Syndra, Jin, and Aurelian Soul, and other low mobility characters, just watching that tether attached to me, and this pink-haired chick 
with metal boxing gloves flying at me at Mach 10 gives me the feeling in my stomach like, why even choose life anymore? This champion feels just so good, and there is so much potential in a good Vi player. Now, Vi isn't that flashy with her plays as someone like Lee Sin is, but she kind of has that Aurelian Soul vibe, where a good Vi player doesn't look super flashy, but still can do some amazing things if you're good enough. Hey, everything can be solved with fisting. Lucky me, huh? Now it's time to let you all in on a little secret of mine. Is this a secret? Absolutely not. I'm sure plenty of people have played Vi Top before, but normally Vi is considered a jungling champion, but someone has obviously never seen the power of Vi Top play. Without you needing to buy a jungle item, you can start immediately building damage tanking and provide all sorts of awesomeness to your team. <laughs> hey, there's a big farm. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> You're welcome. I didn't even have to flash the skill shot. You give her some nice damage and a decent amount of attack speed and Vi can then kill anyone on the enemy team solo. Yes, she can 1v1 anyone, so long as they aren't a Vigar or some shit. Attack speed Vi just means a million W procs, which means a million max health damage procs, which means a million dead Teemos. Just think about it, if the two of you go for a trade, you can easily get off your Q damage plus your E bonus damage and your W proc. Then they would be insane to try and continue to fight you. You now have more attack speed, their armor is shredded, and so you just basically win the fight post trade. Vi top is a ton of fun, Vi jungle is also ton of fun. Vi is just fucking fun. Um... Hey, bitch. <laughs> Dead. Alright. Let's make some big dick plays. Early Vi clear is pretty safe, so you should be relatively healthy to contest Scuttle Crab. Your Q will remove the Scuttle Crab's armor and MR stats, so you can take it very fast and let's provide pressure through vision. Considering how healthy Vi is in the jungle, you can get through multiple clears without needing to recall, so if all your lanes are doing well or pushing, you can just sit and farm back without any issues. When it comes to ganks, try and read your opponent. There will be a good chance they will attempt to flash your Q when you go in, so if you can kind of predict that flash or get in there fast enough, you can catch them off guard. When you Successfully gank, do the Q auto attack E combo. Q procs a stack, an auto procs another stack, and then you can reset your auto with your E and finish your W passive proc and do a ton of damage. If you have two stacks of V, you can then auto attack an E after the combo to be only one hit away from your W if they're dumb enough to keep even fighting you. Remember that your E gives you a slightly larger amount of attack range every time you proc, exactly 50. So if like you're just basically out of range, but you have an E proc, you know, the enemy's really low health with two stacks on W and you can flash in and land an E and then boom, they're dead, you know, take the chance. When it comes to using your ultimate, read the situation to decide if you want to ult in first or Q in first. If you can catch them out with the Q or flash during mid Q, you can hit them with the stun and a full W proc combo and then ult them before they get a chance to move, doing just incredible damage and CCing them for a long time. If you ult first, you can get guaranteed hits on them since you have a small grace period after your ult to do another hit and then smack them with your Q, which can push them ever so slightly away from the tower and of course get a W proc. Vi does a massive amount of damage to both tanks and squishies. In major team fights, your job is to get your ult on the immobile pain in the ass on the enemy team and proceed to murder them or at least help your team murder them. Now let's say you can't get to that pain in the ass on the enemy team, whether it be because of a good peel or whatever reason. You can do crazy damage to tanks and can use the CC from your Q and your ultimate to peel them off squishies, giving the opportunity. Nothing is more satisfying than watching a Zed ultra 80 carry than you ulting the Zed and getting the cause this big CC train. Remember, you do max health armor shredding. It helps not just you, but also your whole team. For building Vi, this is where shit gets insane, because every single tank and AD item is good on Vi. Now there's some special builds and such, but goddamn, if you're a tank and AD carry or a bruiser, your item list can be good on Vi. Now you're probably thinking, Bricky, why the fuck would I build static shiv on Vi? Now, that comment sounds like negativity I would expect from someone who hasn't seen the glory that is static shiv on Vi. Attack speed is good, damage is good, crit is good, tank is good, it's all amazing, remember, Every problem can be solved by fisting. Are there items that are better than others? Well, absolutely, Black Cleaver was practically a made-for-Vi item, but every single item I listed is still effective. 
So here are the masteries I run with Jungle Vi and another page for Vi top lane. Here are the runes I run for jungle and the runes I run for top. And here are four Sarah builds. I know that there's a lot of shit. This is a balanced Jungle Vi off tank build. This is a standard Jungle Vi tank build. Here is what I build when I play Vi jungle because it's absolutely balls to the wall fun. And here is my crazy insane top lane Vi build. Use with caution. The skins we have for Vi are 80s disco Vi. Do you have a weapon in your pants Vi? Blackjack is bullshit Vi and 666 is the number of the Vi. I get to use that joke twice today. For Vi counters, I go with nobody. Vi is the best girl in all of League of Legends. Nobody can beat her. Fuck you, I'm Vi. Every problem can be solved with fisting. So let us wrap up Vi. She is fucking great. A versatile but not OP, enjoyable champion with a ton of uses, lots of awesome abilities, and extremely easy on the eyes. Vi is in my opinion probably a top 5 best designed champions in all of League of Legends. She's also probably my top 3 favorite League of Legends champions of all time. She is a blast to play and I look forward to many more years playing with her, in more ways than one. Now before I go, we hear the usual Vi clips. Enjoy. Oh me. Uh oh. Nice! Good shit, my dude! It's not even Wednesday! Alright, I got- Oh, oh, he- he decided to E in there! What a dingus! Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, I still think we- Oh, no. we, yeah, he just- Yeah, let's just- Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'm slow. But I want to be faster. Uh, no. But sometimes, like in life, you can only be so fast. Nice job with that shit, B. I got him. Yeah. Good good job, all of you. That was amazing. I don't like this bricky. Fuck you. Damn it. Jinx doesn't matter, huh? Yeah? J Jinx doesn't Aww. matter. Jinx doesn't matter, huh, B? <laughs> oh, nice flash. <laughs> Jinx doesn't matter. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching my So You Wanna Main Vi. I do have a pretty cool announcement. I finally opened up a merchandise shop for my channel. If you go to crowdmade.com slash brickyorkaday, link is in the description, you can find a couple of different kinds of merchandise. It's gonna start off simple with just a logo, but as time goes on, more and more things will be added to the store, and we'll get some really cool-ass designs to start off with. So, there you go, there's the link, it's in the description as I mentioned. And as usual, this Vi guide got you to challenge her. The likes and subs are always appreciated. My name is Brick Yorkadate, and every problem can be solved with fisting. Bye bye